Back in Maya, I'll select my geometry, right-click, choose Material Attributes. And in my Material Attributes, I'm going to scroll down to Geometry. I'm going to open up Geometry, and I'm going to click on the checkerboard at the far right of the Opacity slider. And I'll introduce the JPEG I just created. No change is going to be visible for two reasons. First, we have to go in and make an adjustment on the geometry itself, and then we have to introduce lighting and the on or render. So I'll select my geometry one more time, and under the Shape tab, I'll open up Arnold, and I'll turn off Opaque. Now I'm going to move my fence kind of into the viewport. I'll hold down the space bar, go to Create, and lights and just for this rough viewing I'm going to choose a directional light. I'll move it up and away and I'll hit T on the keyboard to get the transform and if I were to hold V on the keyboard I can take the source now with my left mouse and snap it right to the fence area. So once I get it there I might adjust it a bit. Now save Now that I have the light setting, I'm going to go to Arnold, Arnold Render View, and I'll turn on my Render View. And you'll see there is the fence. Now, just to confirm we've got the Alpha Channel working, I'm going to put a plane down in my top view. So in my top view, I'll hold down the space bar, go to Create, Polygon Plane, I'll introduce Plane, and scale it up, and we can see already it's working. I'll select my Geometry, I'll go to my Perspective View, I'll select the Fence, and in my Graphic View I'll bring it up on top of the Plane. And you can see now we have our fence. Now the last thing we do is we're going to put a nonlinear bend on it so it would arc. With my geometry selected, I'll hold down the space bar and I'm going to go to deform, nonlinear bend. And it'll introduce a vertical green line. I need to rotate that line so it's horizontal to the fence. I'll hit E on the keyboard, and if I were to close Arnold out for a moment, I can now rotate this. And if I was to go to my channel box, I can see now that I can adjust this to either a minus or a plus 90 for my Z. So I'll make it minus 90. And now I'm going to hit T on the keyboard to transform it. You'll notice that there are three blue diamonds. The one in the middle is the one that will allow us. The one in the middle is the one that will allow us to put a bend on this. I'll hit five, pull it forward. Once I've introduced a bit of an arc, I can now change it to the angle I want. So I'll hit E on the keyboard and I'll start to rotate on the proper axes. And I'm looking for minus ninety for Y. So I'll put in minus 90, hit return, and now I'll go back into Arnold. And there's our fence. To make the bend permanent, simply select the geometry and click on Delete by Type History. And that concludes the tutorial.